welcome you to Los Angeles. We've got baseball on the show. It's the New York Mets taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. And Chris, a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year, Mookie Betts. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. So just about set now. And on the mound today, Landon Knack. What do we need to know here? It's a tough veteran lineup on the other side, but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Leading off the afternoon for the Mets, the second baseman, Brandon Nimmo. The pitch. Oh, and that's outside. outside. And that's how this game gets started. That one close ruled a ball. And it's two and one. Third pitch of this ball game. That one right in the zone. But it's called for a ball, man. That's frustrating, but. You've got to stay focused. Keep making that pitch. You're going to get the strike call. Throw on to Freeman. One out in the top of the first. Let's take a peek at the Mets lineup here. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Brandon Nimmo. Yeah, definitely someone I always enjoy, you know, when I get a chance to watch him, whether he's hitting a game or even taking swings during batting practice. Man, this guy is always so focused on what he's doing on that task at hand. He's got so much attention to detail. That when he steps in the box, his success rate is really high. Starling Marte in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Right-hander kicks deals. Curveball over for a called strike. One out, base is empty. Swings through that one for strike two. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Righty delivers. Pitch misses. Two and two. One down, base is empty. And there's a hit. I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around Hold soon. On. Oh, here's a game Lindor will never forget. One night in July of 2023, he went five for five with a home run, two triples, and he scored three runs. That stat line is so rare, only one other player has done it. Guess who? Willie Mays in 1958. Outman makes the catch. That is cool. The first baseman, Pete Alonzo. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Move to first. Marte gets back easily. That one's in there. Strike one. And ball one. One ball, one strike. Up and in, and it's two and one. Marte leads off first with two down to the inning.
Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Jeff McNeil to bat next. Payoff pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Softly hit, back behind third. And it stays fair! And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Jeff McNeil stands in. Jeff McNeil. Off the plate inside, ball one. There are lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Wouldn't chase that time. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. 2-0. Now a pop-up on the infield. Betts moving under it and makes the play, and that's out number three. Two left for the Mets. The Dodgers coming up, and we are scoreless. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And towing the slap, Luis Severino. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. And here it comes Mookie Betts, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. The wind of the pitch. On its way to the corner. And it's off the wall, but foul. And a pitch. Best offering misses down and away. Two-two now. Bows it back with two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Hit hard on the ground is short. She made the pitcher earn that out after a long at bat. Time now for Dave Roberts lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Gavin Lux. And Boo, you and I were talking about him before the game. He's got good speed, and if you watch him in this game, he's that type of guy that's very smart. He doesn't have this just eye-popping speed, but he knows how to use it, and he's very intelligent on the base pass to get to the next base, to get around the bases, and ultimately score runs. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. 
Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. That's a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. That is cool. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Just missed. One and to Freddie Freeman. And fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Man at first, one away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. He's got it, and that is the inning. One left for L.A., scoreless after one. Back here in L.A., all set for the start of the inning. And here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez measures 5 feet 10 inches, 22 years old. And he was born in Venezuela. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Great velocity at 97 at the top of the zone. Kicks and fires. That's Larry Bullard, our umpire behind the plate. But Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit, but overall, well-respected umpire in the league. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. A massive home run. His second of the year, and the Mets jump in front. It's 1-0. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? But a really good job there by the hitter. Getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. And here is Tyrone Taylor. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately. Can make it a five-game okay. hitting streak with a knock in this one. But we just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. The 1-0. And another ball. Nah. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Riding to the plate, and it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at him. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And now Bader up to the plate. And that one fouled off. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? Well, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a oh, great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. And a pitch. Oh. Oh. 
One on, nobody out. A run in here at the top of the second. That one misses. Three and one. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And that's Thank ball you, four. Man. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle finding the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. Now it's Zach Short. There's a strike. First and second here, no outs. Missing low. Way to lay off that pitch down. At the belt and fires. Good Good chase game. that time. Two two. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Struck him out looking. So up next for New York, Brandon Nimmo. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. One low. He's looking for a ground ball out. to get a double play and out of this jam. One burner into the outfield for a knock. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Pulls him to third safely. A run comes in on the play. Picks himself up at RBI. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got a great run on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Here's Starling Marte, and he's already singled in this game. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Hernandez right there to make the grab. And that should get the job done as he tags from third. He'll score the sack fly. It's three zip. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Now up to hit, Francisco Lindor. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And the slider just misses. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Foul ball there. two here the shortstop takes the ball and another ball got him swinging for the strikeout had him out front for strike three they get three runs on two hits one a solo homer we go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Mets three and the Dodgers nothing. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. 
Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. A little bit low. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Just off the outside edge. Two and oh. Two will count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. Line drive, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. That is quick. No luck here. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And that's in there for strike one. Severino. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you One swing ball. at that pitch, He's most great. likely you roll into a double play. Severino kicks deals. On the ground to the oh. left. And foul ball. Kicks and deals. On the ground to third. One and second. Over to Alonzo. Double play. The 5-4-3 double play is a gem in baseball. And how can you not appreciate the skill and practice it takes to make this look so easy? Great work by the infield. Now a chance for James Outman. Off the mark there. One and oh. Pitch. Ball Wouldn't two. chase that time. Two and oh. Two and oh to Cal. Here it comes. He swings and fouls one off. Two one now. That one fouled off. Why to kick the pitch? That Three misses. Balls. Full He's count now. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next hitter to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Andy Pajas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Down the line. Taylor hustling after it. Makes the grab on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. So the Dodgers leave one. They trail it here, three nothing. And we're back. And here's the first baseman, the Pete, first Alonso. Baseman. Pete Alonso. Pete Alonso. And the right hander back to work. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. The pitch. Swings and misses. He swung over top of the curveball. Wow, short work to send him packing to start the inning and no messing around yeah. either. All three pitches were in the strike zone, attack mode all the way, and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. McNeil oh. takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Base is empty one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Pitch misses there, and the count is 2-0. 
Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. That one spoiled, and the count now 2-1. And another ball. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Up the middle. Lux on the run. Sends it over to first. Two up, two down. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. Two outs, space is empty. And stepping in for New York, Francisco Alvarez. Lifted in the air down the left side, and it falls. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Pitch was away, so he definitely pulled off it there. Not what you want to do with the pitch in that location, really, but he was able to guide it into the outfield for the knock. Now it's the right fielder, Tyrone Taylor. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Hernandez makes the catch, and that is that. Mets leave one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's Gavin Lux. And a pitch. That one a little bit high. And yeah, that's ball one. Bounce to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Now it's Mookie Betts. Grounded out his first time. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. And he takes a strike. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. On the ground, Nimmo. On to first, and Betts is set down. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Here's Kike Hernandez. Strike one to Kike Hernandez. To third. Sends it across the first. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Nothing doing here this half. On to inning number four. It's the Mets three and the Dodgers nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the fourth. Here's the center fielder, Harrison Bader. Nack, back to work. There's a strike. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Oh, and two now. Ball oh, one there. Oh. It's a good take. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And down on strikes he goes. And one out now. Zach Short up now for the Mets. He was a strikeout victim his first time. A 
upstairs. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. The pitch. Oh. Way inside, gets out of the way. And no. that's off the inside edge. Ball three. And there's the automatic. Green one. One down, base is empty. Swing and a pop up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. And a pitch. Chopper to second. Lux gets it to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. The batter number nine. Second base. Brandon Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. One for two. Swings and misses. Strike no. one. One strike. One missed. And a curve misses outside. And a curve drops in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Down in order go the Mets, but they lead it 3 0. Bottom four, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. The first baseman, Freddie Freeman. The wind of the pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. And a base hit right there. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now the, catcher. the batter now will be Will Smith. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here comes Max Muncy. And that one hit 97 on the gun. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Tying run at the plate. Huh. No, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. With the tying run at the plate, we're here in the bottom of the fourth. Pitch misses. Now two and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And the righty deals. Pulls the string with the changeup. Struck him out. Now batting. 
Two on, one out. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He hit into a double play his first time up. Ball one, no strikes. Freeman, the lead runner at second. Smith over at first, so going away. Fought off foul. This one smacked out to left center. Base hit! Here comes Freddie around third. He scores, and they cut the lead to two. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ball game. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Doubled in his first A.B. Outside corner, there's a strike. Edge of the zone, call the strike. And it's 0-2. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Now back, right fielder. And now the right fielder, Andy Pajas. He's 0 for 1. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at-bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. And that's outside, and it's one and one. fly ball shallow right field Taylor moving under it makes the play and it's out number three so one run in the inning on this base hit and this is now a three one ball game Back here at Dodger Stadium. New inning getting started. And now the DH, Starling Marte. And he deals. Popped up first base side. Freeman makes the grab. One away. Now bad at the shortstop. Francisco Lindor. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Right down to shoot. That's strike one. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Shohei Otani up and loosening in the pen. Stone also throwing. One down, base is empty. In the air, left field down the line. That gets down for a hit. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. Run around the goal. Strike in there. And that's a stolen base, not even close. One out and a runner at second. And we're at the top of the fifth. Next pitch is outside. Righty delivers. Way high there. And it's two and one. Man at second. Oh. And 
And another ball. Okay. And ball, ball four to a board. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. It appears Dave Roberts is going to dig into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Landon Knack is done, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, Shohei Otani. On for his major league debut, so we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium, but the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. Check swing of the first pitch. Look down to third. No swing. He held up. Patrick Johnson with the call there. That misses. And now 2 0. Otani. He's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff that results in a ton of strikeouts in a tough spot like this. That is a big time benefit. Right through there for a strike. No, as a hitter, when a guy like this comes into the game, you feel like he's standing on top of you, and it's just attack mode coming right at you, expecting to get a swing and miss. Lindor, the lead runner out at second. Alonso at first, one gone. And that'll load the bases. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. So the bases are loaded here, one man gone. Francisco Alvarez getting ready to hit. Golden opportunity right here. That one hammered center field. Outman going back. Just missed it. Runner tags from third. He's in on the sacrifice fly. And they lead by three. Well, he's always capable of losing one over the fence. He might have just missed it right there, but a good job of driving that run from third. So two down now, and here is Tyrone Taylor. Taylor. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire, and out there on the mound, maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. That one way outside. And that's ball two. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. And oh, another ball. Right-hander kicks deals, swings and misses. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mets four, and the Dodgers one. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. You know, these Dodgers finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. Base hit, and the leadoff man aboard. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Now at the plate, Mookie Betts. Severino throws to first. 
And he's back in easily. And there's a foul ball. Rudder at first with no outs here. The shortstop takes the ball. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And a big swing and a miss. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside, hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Kike Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Bader pulls that one down. And there are two outs. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. So last chance for the Dodgers. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Lux off of first with two away. And a foul ball. Down to their final strike. The Dodgers down to their final strike. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level, and you start to gain this momentum, and you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. The team is making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can, perhaps push it up to double digits. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon.